Peace. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kofi. Welcome back. I'm about to give you my prediction and fight breakdown for Danny Jacobs versus Sergey Dervachenko. They're fighting this Saturday on HBO. This will be HBO boxing last fight, not just for the year. And definitely, you know, they're they're calling it quits. So Danny Jacobs will be going over to the zone app and i don't know about dervachenko but this is going to be a great fight it's at the middleweight um limit 160 pounds dervachenko and jacobs are they know each other from sparring against each other so it's going to be very interesting now um this is for the ibf um middleweight championship so let's give a good breakdown so right now danny jacobs 34 and 2 with 29 knockouts, you know, um, 81% knockout percentage. Impressive. Dervachenko is 12 and zero with 10 knockouts, um, 83% um, power um, with his KOs. Um, Danny Jacobs is 6'1. Dervachenko is 5'7. So Jacobs has the slight height advantage and the reach. Jacobs reaches 74 inches and Dervachenko is 67. Um, both are fighting at the orthodox stance. Um, Jacobs has a strong jab. I mean, his jab um, is one of the best in the game, no matter what weight division it is. And I really believe that because seeing Danny Jacobs um, been fighting since following him since he was he he made his pro debut and you know Jacobs has a strong jab that brings force and it, it makes people think twice from coming in. I believe if Jacobs applies the jab and utilizes it throughout the fight, he has a strong chance to set up you know his his combinations and to throw feints. Um, Dervachenko is very crafty with his. You know, even though he's shorter than Jacob, that doesn't mean nothing. Dervachenko is slick, can get under punches, and can actually, you know, make Jacobs think twice for throwing too many punches because he doesn't want to get hit. And, you know, we've seen in the past, Jacob has been knocked down by Sergey Mora, and even Triple G knocked him down. So some people like to say he has a, a um, you know, a glass joke um chin i don't believe that i believe you know you, you get caught you get caught it's boxing probably not gonna stand up like that you can anybody can get caught and get clipped so it can happen um dervachenko i never seen him fall to the canvas or get dropped so this will be new we will see you know how he will how if something happens when you know his back is against the wall so we will have to see if jacob's you know, applies that pressure to him. I believe this fight will go 12 rounds. It will go the whole, it will go the distance. I believe Jacobs will win split the decision. I'm leaving that in my heart. I don't I don't see a knockout. I don't see a knockdown. I see split decision. Jacobs winning the IBF middleweight title. Um I follow Jacobs on Instagram. You know, I'm proud of him, you know, recovering from cancer years ago. And the cancer that was in his spine, you know, that's why they call him the miracle man. And I'm, I'm very happy to see where he's at now in his life. His second time getting the title, you know, he deserves all the accolades and he can keep pushing. I would love to see him fight Canelo in May 2019. And if he can't get that fight, what about Bubu Andrade? Because he has a WBO middleweight title now. If not that, even fight, give a chance. Um, Jamel Charlo, you know, he's the number one WBC um ranked opponent so let's give him a title but i just can't wait for the fight i won't be able to see it i'm gonna have to catch um check my instagram and check my youtube channels because i have to go to a wedding that day so ah sucks but post your comments below tell me who you think is going to win the fight i would love to hear from you hulk smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you're not following me already and i appreciate your support and love Thank you. Have a blessed.